When I moved to Asia 13 years ago from New York, it was like going from black and white to living in color. When I first arrived in Bangkok, it had a reputation as being a kind of third world backwater kind of place. That's never been true for Bangkok, not for me anyway. And it's more than just Bangkok. This whole region, they call it the Eastern Economic Corridor from Bangkok to Pattaya and beyond is full of development like this true digital park, true. Bangkok is a city of endless entertainment options as well. From street art to fine art, the mythological imagery, all manner of artistic expression. There are concerts and music halls, movies, theaters, every imaginable uh, kind of kind of entertainment, including 1970s style go-go bars, where the go-go dancers would be happy to go home with you for the right price. Okay. But here is this cool little coffee shop where you can go and listen to vinyl records in the 60s and the 70s while having a decent cup of coffee as well. Record Cafe. Kind of a cool place, actually. So I think I have. options in Bangkok are as varied as Thailand itself, where you can go from street carts to fine upscale French restaurants. Bangkok still has plenty of street vendors where you can find bargains galore all over the city, all over the country for that matter. It's kind of the knockoff capital of the region. Well, maybe not. That happens all over the place. But yeah, you can get plenty of bargains here in Bangkok, but today I'm after a little high-end shopping. So here I am at Siam Santa Center um, amongst the high-end stores. And I looked it up online and I knew old Gary would be in this uh, mall somewhere. So I came here, you know, I looked, will I be able to find it? And it's like, yeah, they have a great big old promotion right out front and uh, and yeah here, here on the main selling floor amongst all the other high-end brands is Bulgari where I'm about to go in and find out if I'm pronouncing it correctly I found what I've wanted. The transit rail system in Bangkok, which has tripled in size in the seven years that I've been here, is clean, efficient, safe, and inexpensive. You can pretty much reach all parts of the city. And yet with all its amenities, Bangkok still has a lot of the old tradition available too. And today I'm being chauffeur driven to a place where Miss Puakau assures me that we're going to see some really interesting Buddhist symbolism. So yeah, off we go uh, for a little uh, Buddhist imagery. I really love some of these old temples called Wat here in, here in Thailand. The gold you see gleaming off of that artwork is no doubt real gold. You can tell by the way it gleams in the sunlight. Bukau has her, uh, let's go visit the Thai temple pants on. 
I kind of like. I think they're cute. You go up. Okay. <laughs> gonna finish this up as I put my shoes back on. The uh, the old and the new here in Bangkok. <laughs> the old and the new. <laughs> well, she's not exactly new. She's a lot newer than me. <laughs> See you next time.